Uh, Selena Johnson is actually about the 44th person to receive this award. And for people that don't know who De uh, Deanna Williams is, she's a mentor and a good friend, but she's also the co-founder of Black Music Fund, her alongside with Kitty Gamble and Ed Wright. So Selena Johnson, but the fact that Deanna, sure, you know, she sends her love. Um, she loves you, and she wish you could have been here, but I want to present this with you. So here we go. Thank you guys so much, first of all. Um, it's such an honor to be recognized anywhere by anybody. So I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I just want to say that uh, when you were reading that bio, I was like, man, I'm getting old. It's like a lot of albums you read about this. And because it shows your support for black music and we need you all to support to continuously support black music we need events like this to continuously support that black music especially R&B music because it's it's a it's a genre that is I won't say it's suffering but it's taking a back seat to a lot of genres that aren't really feeding us nowadays um, R&B music feeds us it feeds our souls this is how you all were born you were born on R&B music you were uh, you, some of the, the the most traumatic moments in our history, the civil rights movement. We talked about that with uh, R&B music and, and the pioneers like Aretha Franklin, and Al Green, and Marvin Gaye. These people kept um, us alive because they actually inspired us while we were going through traumatic times. See, what you don't understand is that music is the soundtrack of our lives. So. And that time when we were talking about making it through or inner city blues, what's going on, this is how our people were able to survive and get through the different things that we were going through. Amen. Nowadays, we're going through things that are just as tumultuous, but we're listening to dumb shit down to the radio. Amen. So what we're going to need to do is start searching for, reaching out, and making music that is meaningful, that means something, that can feed the soul to get us through these times. So I encourage you and I thank you for always supporting your black artists, first of all, because let's keep putting the do our dollars in our own pockets. Let's start doing that too, because that's getting played out to keep just giving our money away to every old body that doesn't respect us, doesn't love us, and doesn't care for us. So I think that, um, I think that it's coming though. I think that we're on the rise. I think that R&B music, soul music, good music is coming back. I think we're on the up and up. So I just encourage you to keep, um, keep being, uh, celebrating your blackness. Keep celebrating yourselves, your culture, and the culture that this industry is trying to sustain because everything that you hear on the radio stems from black music. Please do your history and understand that because that's the truth. It stems from black music. So I am proud to be a pioneer of black music, and I am actually uh, getting ready to release a new album. Hello, somebody. I just finished it last weekend. And it's called Woman. The whole album is called Woman. Uh, the first single is called Woman, and I am touching on the, I the issues that we're dealing with in this world based on our current legislation and the way that men are treating women in America. So, and police officers and how they're treating our sons. So again, food for the soul, music to inspire us to get past these different times. We just can't keep being out here irresponsible, making music that's whack and talking about a bunch of nothing. We just don't have time for that. So I'm not saying that, oh, my album the only one that's gonna do something. But I am saying that this album is geared towards love, patience, understanding, overcoming, being strong, celebrating yourself, celebrating the love for yourself and others. It's called woman because if it wasn't for the woman, nobody would be even in here.